morning. This is Southern Tennessee Mom. A big shout out from Tennessee. Today we're going to make some pinto beans. And I've got my kettle here with the lid and then I've got a strainer here. Now, <clears throat> uh, you can uh, soak your beans overnight or you can put them in a pot and soak them for a couple hours or four hours. Um, most of the time I cook pinto beans on a whim and so I don't do that. <laughs> if I think about it, I do, but um, this morning I wanna have pinto beans for supper, so I didn't even bother doing it. So what I'm gonna do is, um, I've got two pounds of pinto beans here. And so <clears throat> I'm gonna take and just open the bag up here. And I'm just going to kind of sift through them because when they can the beans or bag them, um, you know, there could be dirt in there or a bad bean that would be black or a split open bean. Now, I don't mind a split open bean. To me, that doesn't matter. Um, just add to the, to the beans. Um, let's see if I can... This is a split open bean, if you can see that. But, um, see that, see how it's split? To me, that is fine because it's not, um, it's not bad. So, I think that one's okay. Uh, you don't want any black beans or rocks. I don't know if I can find any in here, but this is another example of a split bean. See how, how it just split right open? I think this is the other half of it. And so, <clears throat> those are fine. Um, my mother used to work in a cannery, and she could tell you stories that um, might scare you where you won't eat pinto beans again. So, you're just looking for any bad pinto beans, because believe it or not, some do skip by, and there might be a black one in there, or a piece of rock or piece of dirt in there. I'm just looking through them, making sure there is no bad ones in there. Okay, here is an example of a black bean that has got, it's rotten on the vine. So, um, that, you know, they missed it. See how it's black? That's, that's not good. We're just throwing that away. The rest look good. Um, show you a picture. See those? Those all look good. Um, there's nothing bad in those. So we're gonna rinse these, and then I'll show show you what we're doing next. Okay, I have rinsed my pinto beans. 
I'm going to pour it in, in the pot. Now, if you don't want to cook this, maybe you don't have to. You could cook a pound, two cups, whatever. Um, but I'm cooking extra because we like to make fry beans or um, fry bean patties or um, I'll use them in chili a lot of times. So I don't mind if I have extra. Um, but um, if you want to... Now, I'm gonna cook these all day to get them done. And, um, but now, if you do soak them overnight or t for a couple hours, that is gonna cut down on the cooking time. But I don't mind, because I'm, I'm just gonna be cooking these all day, so it's not gonna matter. <clears throat> all right, I've got a bag here. Um, when I make bacon, I will save my grease and put it, when it cools down, I'm, and I put it, I pour it into a, a cup or a bowl, and then <clears throat> once it cools down a little bit, I will pour it into a baggie, and then I'll freeze it. And <clears throat> this is, um, then I'll pull it out when I'm going to make beans, and while it's still frozen, I'm just going to push it down out of the bag. Now, you don't have to use bacon grease if you don't want to. You can use vegetable oil or canola oil, whatever you want to use in it, but this is how my mama done it and how I do it, and I think it gives it a really good flavor, um, and, or you could just put bacon in it if you want, but strip some bacon or ham, um, I, sometimes I will cook ham in here, if I have ham, I'll cut it up, or have a ham that I've cooked, I'll save the ham bone and put it in here. Today, I'm not going to. I'm just going to cook pinto beans because I am going to put it, probably use this in chili or make some fried bean patties or something. So, we're going to fill this up with water. Okay, I have put, filled the pot up. You can see pretty well with cold water. It's not to the uh, top. It's about, you can see that. It's about you know, it's got about this much from the rim. I'm just gonna put the lid on it. I'm not gonna put it all the way down on it like that. I'm gonna kinda caulk it so it'll let send the steam out. Um, I'm gonna also add Pam's cutting board icon at, at the end of the video and also in the script, description box below when I add that recipe. I also put her link at the bottom so you can see how she does it. Now, she does her pinto beans different than I do mine. Um, I think we both have a good um, recipe for pinto beans, so um, I think you'll enjoy hers too, but I, I do cook mine a little bit different. All right, so we're going to let this continue to cook on medium heat, and but I will have to watch it. I'll have to come back and stir it so um, the beans don't stick or the water doesn't boil down. And we'll have to continue to add water because this is a lot of pinto beans. I have a lot in here, so we're really gonna have to watch this. But like I said, I have no plans today and I'll be here all, all day, so I'm gonna cook this and uh, have pinto beans later. Okay. They have been cooking now for uh, probably about 30 to 45 minutes. Um, you can see most of the beans have roasted top. But I'm gonna stir them, just to make sure there's none on the bottom. You see, the, the water hasn't um, really went down a lot right now, but see how they're swelling? You can see that. Uh, they're starting to swell up nicely. This is gonna make a big pot of beans. That's what I want, because I want leftovers. But we're gonna just... Let me show you this. This is a, a skin of, of one. Um, to me, that's fine. I don't mind it because, I mean, it's just a part of the bean. But you can take that out if you don't want it. Um, but, but to me, it's not going to hurt the beans at all. Okay. These have been cooking for a couple hours. And you can see the water has um, come down some. Not a lot, but... 
it's come down a little bit, if you can see that, because I had the water up to here, and it's come down, I don't know, uh, probably a quarter of an inch, maybe, but you can see there's more beans now than water, so I'm gonna, I've got this, this plastic cup, I'm gonna fill it with cold water. Now you can use hot or cold, it's not gonna matter, but I just fill it up. And uh, I just, I'm not only gonna do one cup at a time, because I like my um, juice kind of thick. I don't like um, really uh, runny pinto beans. I like mine kind of thick. So I'm just gonna add a little bit and let, put the lid back on it and let it come back to a bowl. And um, we'll come back and check in here in just a little bit. Okay, we're checking on the beans. I'm just gonna give them a stir. Man, look at those pinto beans. Don't they look good? See how they're um, busting open? That's a good sign they're getting done. I'm gonna go ahead and add a little bit of water to it. Cause we do have a lot of pinto beans in there. So I'm gonna add some water. Give it a stir. Okay. I'm gonna continue to let that cook. I'll be back. I have been cooking these pinto beans now for six hours. And um, I cooked them on three hours on medium heat. I filled the water up two or three times and um, then I turned them on low heat and just kept stirring them you know every once in a while so they didn't stick until the juice thickened up I didn't add any more water and you can see the juice is, is thick that's the way I like mine in <clears throat> the last 30 minutes they were cooking I did add a tablespoon and a half a teaspoon of salt which to me is just Enough salt is plenty, it's, it tastes great. So we're done with these, so I'm gonna turn the eye off and put the lid back on it for until we get ready to serve them. Thank you and God bless you and have a good evening. I hope you enjoyed this video. And please go over to Pam's Cutting Board. I'm gonna post her video below uh, at the end of the movie. Also, her in the description box below with the recipe, I'm going to post her link. Thank you and have a good evening.